Out of folks, Elk Rex here. All right. Just been doing some work this week on some infantry. The Russian infantry, that is. Yeah, since my last update. As you can see, I have all the 120, I think there are 120 guys here. We have 10 stands, or 12 stands with 8 on it, so that's 96. And then we have all these stands here, and then all the guns and the tank guns that you have. So it took me a little while to put everything on them and uh, get it done, and then flocking. Get the flock out of here. All right. The, uh, I think flock, it's like I spent it yesterday and today. It takes a while to put all that, get in all the nooks and crannies and get it all in there. <coughs> Evening. This cold still got me. And uh, we'll just go through and take a look at him. There we go. Here's a uh, basic. We got eight guys on a stand. They're mounted on balsa wood. That's what my brother put them on. And you have your basic uh, support machine gun and then rifleman. A couple submachine. There's a submachine gun. Right there, a couple of guys right there, some rifle, those in the gaunts, another stand, yeah, they're not bad, these are the Plastic Soldier Company, all this stuff is all Plastic Soldier Company, details are not all that great compared to some of the other stuff, I don't know if these were, um, some of the first stuff they produced is uh, <coughs> some of the stuff I looked at. They have some pretty decent detail on, them, but these kind of some of the uh, ones I went up painting the uh, they're kind of flat. It's like when they came out of the um, uh, injection molding, they were basically kind of flat in places there was just no detail at all they're kind of blobby but they come out you put paint on it it kind of takes care of the effect in a way your eye just sees the color outlines of everything instead of the uh, recess details so you can get you can make details with uh, just color variation. Get the recesses. You know, if it's a couple guys on here toss the submachine guns tossing grenades. So that is the twelve stands. Those move these off to the side. And we'll just look at the guns here. We have two types of guns. Um some of these are the I think these are 40s. There's what, 45 mil, 57, and 76. I'm thinking these are probably 45s. I think these might be the 76s and these might be the 57s. It's hard to tell. Just by looking, I didn't have the boxes handy, so I'm not sure exactly which one's which. I'd have to take a look, a, uh, look up online. My brother knows which one's which, so when the time comes to play, he just say, this is this, this is this. One has the uh, um, front, the pressure on the front, the other ones do not. These look like they're longer guns, bigger guns, so I'm, I'm assuming these are the 76s, like you find on the tanks, or similar. For all I know, they could be bigger guns. <clears throat> and you have these little anti-tank guns. These look about the same size as the German 50s and 37s. They're closer to the 50, so I imagine these are the 45 anti-tank guns. And 
So we'll get four of those, two of these, so two of those, and two of those. I guess he had, this is only half of everything. He still has another half of infantry that are all put together. He just had, didn't feel like painting them yet. So we can get them all put together. And we can swing around here. Got all these guys. These are the different types of units. We have some mortars. All right, we have two stands of anti-tank rifles. Get that to focus. There we go. Those are anti-tank rifles. And then here's another one, another anti-tank rifle. Just carrying it. Or it's deployed. Here's a mortar. One set of mortar. There's three mortars in varying millimeters. Uh, I think that's the middle one. This is, let's see, where is it at? Here it is. This is like the uh, 50 mil mortar like you, the Germans have that runs with the, uh, the squads. Adds a little bit of suppression. I'm assuming that's about a 50 mil there. And then this one here. This one almost looks like a 80 mil or a 100 Somewhere in there. This could be a hundred foot. That caliber. Somewhere close to that. Then we have some officers. You know, these could be the observer teams. Or headquarters teams. Another one that's identical. To the other one. And then we got a back some machine gun. Little bitty guy with his little maxim. Carry it by its carrying handle and on the wheels. Get it to where it needs to go. Little cute little thing. So that's pretty much it when it comes to everything. It's like three stands of observers or leadership, three mortars, two anti-tank rifles, and a Maxim machine gun. Well, that's pretty much everything for the infantry. All I got to go through now is work on putting the uh, decals on and finish these aircraft. So, we got these Sturmoviks yet to do. So, we got those, finish those. Those won't take too long to do. So, we got all that to go. I have three of them. And that will take care of everything. That is on the table. Alright, this is Hellcracks. You guys have a good one.